Hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, let us do another small experiment to study characteristics of LED. LED characteristics. LED characteristics. I mean, here we are studying IV characteristics. That means vary the applied voltage across the LED and note down the current or study the current. And what is an LED? LED is a light emitting diode led is expansion is light emitting diode this is a sample led and it consists of uh, two terminals a p type and n type how do we identify the p type and n type in if you can see inside the led there is a small smaller portion as well as a larger portion please see here this terminal is smaller one and this one is larger one. The smaller one is the P type, larger one is the N type. This is P type, this is N type. Hence, this terminal is P type, P terminal, this terminal is N terminal. And remember, LED emits the light in forward bias. Hence, LED must be connected in forward bias in the circuit. To make the diode forward bias, you have to connect the P-type terminal, P-terminal to higher potential, N-terminal to lower potential. Hence, in the LED, this must be given connected to higher potential, that means say positive power supply. This must be connected to lower potential, that is negative of the power supply. We are using a breadboard to do the connection. Let us connect the LED at some this point, somewhere, any, wherever you would like to. I have connected it here. This is P terminal, this is N, P, N. Hence, P must be connected with the positive terminal of the battery. This is positive terminal of the battery, is connected to P terminal. You have to connect it along the same column, along the same column where they are all interconnected and to measure the old current and the voltage across the resistance will be using a milliameter to measure the current and a voltmeter to measure the voltage and remember sometimes these voltmeters and milliameter could be AC as well as DC you should make sure they are at DC this is kept at DC this is also kept at DC if they are in AC you won't get the value of the current okay and in as a current controlling component in series with the led we are also connecting a resistance do we have to worry about the value of the resistance no usually we use 1 kilo ohm 1.5 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm resistance whatever that is possible okay it's a very simple circuit an led this is p type and p type is connected to positive terminal n type n type I am going to connect it to the negative terminal through this resistance but before that I will connect the milliameter to measure the current. The milliameter, take the positive terminal, connect the positive terminal to the resistance. In your circuit sometimes the, there may be uh, modifications. Uh, you might have been asked to connect the resistance first to the positive terminal of the battery and then to the LED. That doesn't make any difference. Okay? Don't worry about all those things. Co connect the LED and the resistance in series and with, the C with these two, connect the milliameter also in series. Okay? And the negative terminal of the milliameter is connected to negative terminal of the battery. I'm connecting that to the negative terminal of the battery. This completes a loop. A loop, it has a battery from positive terminal to the P terminal of the LED. From the N terminal, a resistance. From a resistance to the positive terminal of the bar, uh, current meter. From the negative terminal back to the battery. And to measure the voltage across the LED, I'm using a voltmeter. The positive terminal of the voltmeter must be connected to the P terminal again because it is supplied with positive potential. And negative terminal of the voltmeter should be connected to the N terminal. That is here. 
this is positive terminal of the voltmeter here is the negative terminal of the voltmeter don't connect the voltmeter after the resistance connect it before the resistance okay that completes the circuit and let us do the experiment what you have to do increase the value of the voltage slowly in step up 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 volts and note down the current and the voltage. But remember the increased voltage must be read here, the voltage must be read here, current must be read here, not using the power supply. Power supply, display, I am not going to use. Of course, I will increase the voltage in the power supply but note down the voltage here. 0.22 and say 0.2 and you should also look at LED. You have to check whether the LED is glowing or not. Currently the LED is not glowing. Okay. The current the old current is zero. Voltage is 1.2.12 sorry. Point, point two. LED is not glowing. Current is zero. 0.3 LED is not glowing current is 0 you can actually slowly increase until the current starts to increase as well as LED starts to glow until LED doesn't glow current will be 0 hence slowly increase the voltage and keep an eye on the LED as soon as you see a small amount of light from LED the current will start to increase and from there you should note down the reading yes you can see here i don't know whether it is visible that clearly in the camera let me try yes now you can see a small amount of the light being emitted from the led current is still zero don't worry but from here you have to note down the reading 1.67 the current starts, the LED started, say 1.7, let us assume it's 1.7. From 1.7, current is 0, still 0. If you increase the voltage by another 0.1, say make it 1.8, see the current started to increase. 1.8, current is 0.5. Again, 1.9, and as I increase the voltage, Current increases as well as the light emitted by the LED also increases. 1.9, note down the current. 1.9, the current is 2.5 milliamps. And 2, 2 volt, the current is 5.7. Initially, the current was 0. And at some point the current started to increase and the current in is increasing rapidly. Look at the value of the current rising. It's rising. Even for a small increase in the voltage, the current is increasing very much. Okay. And if you plot a graph of uh, the voltage along x-axis, current along y-axis, you will get a curve which is almost zero up to some point of voltage which is also known as barrier voltage or the knee voltage and after that voltage the current increases rapidly and you will have to repeat this experiment for various uh, different colored LEDs for different colored the material used to build the LED are different hence the energy gap will be different that's why they will emit different colors and they will also have different barrier voltage, hence the current will start at different points of voltages. Hence, these, if you determine the knee voltage and if you know the wavelength of the light emitted by the LED, you can also con calculate the Planck's constant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe this is helpful for you. Thank you.